Welcome to this presentation. My name is Adam Dixon, and I will be presenting on behalf of my co-authors from Rivanna Medical and the Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center in New York City. The title of our work is Computer-Aided Interpretation of Neuraxial Ultrasound Images for Thoracic Epidural Anesthesia Guidance. Before we begin, I would like to disclose that several co-authors of this work are employees and shareholders of Rivanna Medical. However, all content presented today was reviewed by Dr. Gulati from the Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center, who has no financial relationship with Rivanna Medical. Thoracic epidural analgesia is an established technique for pain management following thoracic and abdominal surgical procedures. However, needle placement in the thoracic epidural space remains one of the more technically challenging procedures performed by anesthesiologists in part because needle placement is guided by manual palpation, which can be unreliable for accurate identification of the underlying spinal anatomy, especially in the context of obese or elderly patients. To overcome this limitation, ultrasound has been recently investigated as a means to improve the rate of successful thoracic epidural analgesia administration. Compared to manual palpation, ultrasound guidance improves identification of subcutaneous anatomical landmarks, enables real-time observation of needle insertion, and improves safety by reducing the number of needle punctures required for successful entry into the thoracic epidural space. However, widespread adoption has been limited due to the technical difficulty of ultrasound image interpretation. Clinical ultrasound systems are designed for soft tissue imaging, so bone structures are often difficult to interpret. In the thoracic spine, anatomical assessment is further complicated by the extreme caudate angulation of thoracic spinous processes and by acoustic shadowing from bone. As a result, the benefits of ultrasound guidance for thoracic epidural placement remains heavily dependent on operator experience. Our long-term motivation for undertaking this research is to ultimately reduce the learning curve for using ultrasound to guide thoracic epidural placement with the goal of increasing adoption of the technique. But as a first pass technical validation, we sought to determine whether a computer-aided detection algorithm could enable rapid and accurate detection of key neuraxial structures for thoracic epidural administration. We developed a thoracic spine imaging mode on the Acuro ultrasound system that automatically detected the spine midline, the thoracic lamina, and provided a prospective needle trajectory for needle guidance to the thoracic lamina, assuming a paramedian needle approach for thoracic epidural placement. We enrolled 62 patients who were undergoing abdominal or thoracic surgery at the Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center and collected ultrasound images of their thoracic spine for use in evaluating the accuracy and performance of the algorithm. Note that the thoracic epidural was not guided using imaging in this patient population, but rather the image data was used to retrospectively verify the accuracy of the computer-aided detection algorithm that was implemented on the Acuro. 440 images acquired from the 62 patients were manually annotated by three independent physician observers who provided the ground truth location of the spine midline and thoracic lamina within the images. The image on the left depicts representative manual annotations provided by three physician observers. The image on the right depicts the graphics on the Acuro screen, which are rendered automatically by the computer-aided detection algorithm and depict the spine midline, the depth, the depth to the thoracic lamina, and a prospective needle trajectory that will intersect with the thoracic lamina. The video on the left shows a short video capture of the real-time anatomical annotations provided by the computer-aided detection algorithm. The video on the right depicts a simulated needle placement procedure in a thoracic spine phantom, demonstrating how the imaging mode is intended to be used clinically. On the Acuro screen, you can see the needle following the green needle trajectory to the thoracic lamina. The angle of needle insertion is enforced by the white Acuro locator that clips onto the front of the ultrasound probe. Here we present accuracy results from the computer-aided detection algorithm on 440 images collected from the 62 patients in the study. The spine midline was detected with 0.5 millimeter positional error, while the depth to the thoracic lamina was detected with approximately 2 millimeter average error. 
the sensitivity and specificity of the decision to draw the needle trajectory on the image were approximately 90%. Overall, the system identified the landmarks with low error in this patient population. The correspondence between the computer-aided detection and manual identification of the thoracic lamina for every image in the data set are shown on these plots. On the left, you can see a strong positive correlation between the algorithm's results and the manual annotations with an R-squared value of 0 0.92. On the right is a Bland-Altman plot depicting the error in lamina depth estimates across all subjects in the study. Overall, the computer-aided detection algorithm matched the manual annotations provided by the physician observers with low error. In addition, the Acuro provided prospective needle trajectories to support paramedian needle placement to the thoracic lamina with high sensitivity and specificity. However, this research was only the initial technical validation of the imaging algorithms. Performance in a randomized controlled trial will have to be evaluated to determine if this approach can positively impact patient outcomes. I would like to thank you for your attention and for your interest in this research. I would also like to acknowledge funding support from the NIH Small Business Innovation Research Grant Program, which provided all funding that was required to undertake this research.